Hi, hello. This is Balakrishna. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I am going to explaining chapter six progressions, exercise six point two, class ten. Okay. So question number eight. Okay. If the third and the ninth term of AP are four and minus eight respectively, which term of this AP is zero? So here given. Third term is four. Next, ninth term is minus eight. So third term means the what the general form of arithmetic progression a plus two d. So here a plus two d is equal to four. Next, a plus eight d is equal to minus eight. So first find the arithmetic progression form of arithmetic progression. So how we can find by using the first term and common difference? So how we can find the first term and common difference using these two equations? Okay, these two equations are pair of linear equation and two variables. So how we can find by using either elimination method or substitution method? So here we can do that elimination method. So here the second equation is subtract from first equation. So that is here. When you subtract the second equation from first equation. The signs are changes here. Plus it is become minus plus minus minus plus. So plus a minus a cancel. So plus two d minus eight d that is minus six d. So four plus eight twelve d is equal to twelve by minus six. So plus by minus minus six one ja six two ja that is d is equal to how much minus two. So the common difference is minus two. So here d value we can substitute. D value we can substitute in a plus a d is equal to minus eight. So here a plus a d that is eight into minus two is equal to minus. So plus into minus minus a minus sixteen is equal to minus eight. So minus sixteen is going to turn out to be plus. So a is equal to minus eight plus sixteen. So minus eight plus sixteen is how much? Eight. So the first term is eight. So here what they asking that which term of the AP is zero? So which term of AP is zero? So here which term or nth term or how many terms or last term? For all we can use the nth term of AP. So here the nth term is Here, which term we don't know? Then let us take that is n the term is zero. So here a plus n minus one into d is equal to zero. So a is how much? Eight plus n minus one into d is how much? Minus two is equal to zero. Plus eight is moving to the right side of the pen minus. So n minus one into minus two is equal to minus eight. Zero minus eight minus eight. So minus two here multiply it is going to side of the pen divide. So n minus one is equal to minus eight by n minus two minus minus cancel to one ja to four ja. So n minus one is equal to four minus one is going to divide up in plus n is equal to four plus one that is equal to five. So here which term is zero ma? Fifth term is zero of this AP. Next. Question number nine. The seventh term of an AP exceed means more than tenth term by seven. So here given the seventh term is exceed tenth term by how much? Seven exceed means more than, greater than. How much? Seven. So here, seven to the term. What is the general form of seven to the term? A plus sixteen d. Next, a plus nine d plus seven. So here, a d are both are variables. Take the variable term is one side. So here, a plus sixteen d plus a come to left side open minus a plus nine d. Minus 9d is equal to 7. So plus a minus a cancel. 16d minus 9d. How much? 7d is equal to 7. D is equal to 7 by 7. So 
Sarmanja, Sarmanja. D is equal to 1. So, the common difference, they ask that common difference is how much? 1. Next. Question number 10. Two APs have the same common difference. The difference between their hundredth terms is 100. What is the difference between their thousand terms? So, here. Let us take. Let us take A1, A2, A3, and so on, AN. It is one AP. Next, B1, B2, B3, and so on, BN. It is another AP. So, the two APs have the same common difference. So, its common difference, let us take its common difference is D1. Its common difference is D1. Same. They ask that. They given that the two APs have the common difference is same. So that is here the common difference here. Let us take the common difference is A2 minus A1. Here the common difference is B2 minus B1. So the difference between their hundredth term. So first AP, first AP, hundredth term is hundredth term is A plus 99D. Second AP, 100 term is B plus 99D, A1, B1. Okay. So, the given that the difference between their 100th term is how much 100? So, given difference between 100th term that is A1 plus 99D, it is 100th term first AP minus B1 plus 99D. Here, both common difference is same. They given that the common difference of the two APs are same. So, is equal to how much they given that? 100. So, A1 plus 99D1 minus B1 minus 99D1 is equal to 100. Why I can write here? They given that the common difference between the two APs is same. So, that is why I can take as for the two APs, I can take as D1. Okay. So, here plus 99 D1 minus 99 D1 is cancelled. What is the remaining here? A1 minus B1 is equal 100. Next, what is asking that? What is the difference between their 100th term? So, first AP, first AP, 1000th term is A1 plus 999 D1. Second AP, 1000 term is B1 plus 999 D1. So, for the two AP, the common difference is same. So, here they ask that difference that is here A1 plus 999 D1 minus B1 plus 999 D1. So, here the D1, D1 both D1s are same. Why? The common difference of the two APs are same. So, here A1 plus 999 D1 minus B1 minus 999 D1. So, plus minus cancel A1 minus B1. So, here what the difference we can get A1 minus D1, but here you can get A1 minus B1 is how much? 100. So, here the difference between their thousandth term is how much? 100. 